Hey, what's happening, guys? Hope you all are doing well. This is Shiko back with another video, and today I'm back with another video on the boom Redmi Note 3. So today in this video, I'm gonna show you how is the Lineage OS 15.1 still unofficial, but we can't help it. I hope it becomes official really soon. And the developer of this ROM is named Lokman Siu. So huge shout out to him and thank you brother for making this ROM for our device as nobody else is making it as of now. So I'll be testing the 23rd March 2018 build on this device and let's see how is it. And for your information guys I don't have the Geo SIM in my device so I can't test the body and stuff like that because my Geo SIM is inside the Redmi Note 5 Pro which is currently my daily driver so that's that and i am really sick of me why on that guy so let's see when can i change that end of upright winner 5 pro so let's get into this video and if you still don't know how to flash this wrong here is a card for you click on that over there so let's begin well if you are not liking these big ass fonts let me tell you that I gave this phone to my mom to use it so that's why I left it bigger. So continuing, I am using modded pixel launcher here. So now let me go into settings and about phone. So here as you can see we have lineageOS updater app which is pretty similar to official lineageOS 14.1 updater and I think it does work. Now let me go back as you can see lineageOS version here is 15.1. And this is the 23rd March 2018 build by the way. The security patch over here is of March 5th 2018. And here you can see the stock kernel name. I think it's the modified Lineage OS kernel by Lokman Siu. And of course running Android 8.1 Oreo. Now let me go back in gestures. We have the jump to camera thing. Let me go back again. In status bar, we have quick pull down for status bar, network traffic monitor if you want that. Here are the system icons for the status bar. We have stuff like headset, bluetooth etc here. We do have the brightness control feature by swiping on the status bar which I really really like. And it's working super fine here as you can see. And stuff like double tap to sleep in the status bar is working fine here too. But the settings for that is in display I guess. And now let me go back. In buttons we have option to toggle the torch with the power button even when the screen is off. As you can see it's working super fine so no issues there. And yeah you can set custom actions. For each home, menu or back capacity buttons if you want that and you can even further customize the volume buttons. Now let me go back. In display settings we have option for live display or the night mode and the good thing is we have option for in depth color calibration and we have option to set the intensity for night and day mode. So if you don't like the color temperature here, yes you can customize it as however you like. And yeah, you can toggle it from the quick settings panel too. In styles, we have the color changing option of the UI. And as you can see, I selected dark and wait for a few seconds. So here as you can see, the UI color changed to dark. And the quick settings panel too changed its color to dark. You can change the accent colors too like this lavender color or this blueberry color which is actually the pixel color. So let me change the UI color back to automatic again. You can set the sleep time as you want. And we have ambient display double tap to sleep settings here. Now let's move to battery. In here we have option to enable or disable battery percentage to show up in the status bar. But I think we do not have the option to change battery icon. 
to circle or square or stuff like that yet. I will be posting the battery life later on Twitter once I test it out. So do follow me on Twitter from the descriptions. Here is the quick settings panel if you want to see the quick toggles quickly. Here are the options. Yes, you can enable or disable heads up, but no option to customize column and row numbers as of now. Typical lineage OS with minimal customizations. Great job, Mr. Lokman Siu. I really like this ROM. Here is an example of GC Mod 5 Portrait Selfie working fine. And one thing that I have to say here is that I did not notice any force stops or force closes of the camera even after using GC Mod 5. And if you enable face unlock, it does not unlock the screen automatically. You have to swipe the lock screen manually after the face match is found. Here are the benchmarks of this ROM, pause it if you need it. And now let me show you the app open up speeds of this ROM and how is the memory management here. In the meantime, let me talk about what's working here and what not. Wi-Fi, torch, camera, FPC fingerprint scanner, IR blaster, double tap to sleep, etc. is working super fine here. Even though I am not using a SIM card here, I am pretty sure that the 4G data and faulty calling should work fine over here. The ROM is super smooth for daily driving. Heck, even I gave it to my mom to use it as a daily driver. So yeah, if you want Lineage OS 15.1 to be stable and official, well, in my opinion, if this unofficial one becomes official even today, I won't mind it at all. And as you can see, the memory management over here is pretty good, so no issues with that. In recent apps panel, we have this lock app option to keep a particular app in memory and you can clear all the apps by going all the way to the top. So that wraps up this video guys. Yes, I will be continuing Redmi Note 3 videos too, do not worry. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you didn't somehow go deep down, I don't know. And please do hit the subscribe button right here if you love my work. This has been Tito from KDN Tech signing off. I'll catch you guys later. Bye bye now.